brownie mix cookies. These are a favorite. They're super chocolatey and I'm showing you how to make them with three different mixes, three different ways. Let's talk brownie mix. Now, there are several different brands of brownie mix out there, and I took three of the most mainstream ones and tested them with this recipe because every brownie mix seems to be a different size these days and the brands keep shrinking them, so you never know if a recipe is going to work. So I tried it with three different brands. We tried Betty Crocker, Duncan Hines, and Pillsbury brand box brownie mixes and this same recipe worked for all of them. You'll wanna start with a 16 to 18 ounce box of brownie mix, and then add two large eggs, a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil, a quarter of a cup of flour. The only difference is that Duncan Hines and Pillsbury are a little bit bigger of a mix. So I added to one of them, you can see how the difference in the way that they look. I added a tablespoon of water, those got a little bit flatter, and they're a little bit more crackly of a top. Now you don't have to add the water. If you're using like a stand mixer or a hand mixer, it will mix together. All that powder will incorporate. But if you're having trouble, go ahead and add some of that water. And then when it comes to mix-ins, you can do these any way that you want. You can see I left some of them plain. Those got really flat because there's nothing to like hold them together in a clump. These were the Betty Crocker ones. They got nice and flat without mix-ins. Um, you can also add chocolate chips, you could add nuts, M&Ms, anything that you want will work in these cookies. They are chewy and fudgy and absolutely fabulous. No matter what you're adding, you want about one cup of mix-ins and then scoop them onto your cookie sheet. And I used two tablespoon cookie scoop. You could use make them smaller if you want and then bake at 350. I love them. We could not stop eating them. The chocolate chip ones were my favorite. I actually liked the Duncan Hines and the Pillsbury brownie mix flavor better than the Betty Crocker, which is weird because Betty Crocker is like my go-to. Um, but let me leave me a comment. Let me know which box mix you like better. These freeze great. They're great for the holidays. They're the most delicious cookie. No one will know they're made from a mix. If you don't follow me already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and keep watching for even more desserts.